Welcome back to Darkwood. This is the beginning of day five. The traitor has returned. Uh, I did notice in the journal there was something here for day four when we visited the underground passage. The armored door in the underground passage is closed. It hasn't been opened in around two weeks. The thief who took my key apparently does not know how to find the passage. Good. I, on the other hand, have no idea where to find the thief. Not so good. Alright, let's go gather up some items. To sell to the trader, perhaps. I forgot what we have, so I'm going to hold on to batteries now that I've got a flashlight. Um, I really don't have anything of particular value, do I? That I want to sell, anyway. I guess pills, sure. Yeah, I guess not. Alright, I'll dump some stuff that I don't think I'll be needing. Speaking of, what can I make? More bandages, which I definitely don't need. More torches, which I definitely don't need. I'll keep the battery on me. Okay, let's see if there's anything to trade for. It says nothing. Oh, can we show them... Ah, oh, we can't show them the dress. The child's dress that we got. Perhaps the wolf. Right. Well, I'll sell them the pills. Oh, I've got two of them. Okay. That's really about all I'm going to sell. You know what I'd really like to do? Although this terrifies the hell out of me, I'd love to construct a shovel and go back to the underground passage and dig out that one passage. But the thing is, I ran out of that place screaming from a monster that was chasing me. Is the monster still there? Don't know. Uh, but anyway, I certainly can't afford that 450 just for the blade of a shovel itself. Not to mention, I'm assuming the metal pipe that I would need for the handle, or something I would need for the handle. Or perhaps I can use a board and, like, cut it up into a stick to use for the handle or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to be buying much. Except maybe some basic crafting components. I'll grab some scrap metal. I would like to make some more chain traps, and I think I have no scrap metal or very low scrap metal. Okay, let's go with that. Can actually make a bear trap. But, you know, given how effective the chain traps seem to be, I think I'd rather just make a chain trap. I haven't had any issue killing the enemies before they get out of the chain trap. I've still got the Molotov cocktail. I'm trying to think. Should I even bother with these stones? I'm guessing, given that they don't seem to work with dogs, since I guess the dogs use the meat. I'm guessing they maybe work with the savages. Or perhaps just anything humanoid. I guess I'll keep them. Just inventory space is so precious. You know, I'm not going to take this extra battery. I've got one, that's enough. Yeah, this is fine. I'm also going to leave this half-broken board behind. That should be good. Make sure I remember to go turn off the generator before I leave. Don't want to waste the gas. Got plenty of gas in it, don't think I need to refill it. Okay. Where am I going for the day? So I just pretty much finished exploring the burned houses, that's all good. Explored that, explored that. 
So this is all explored. I could try to head more right and see if there's something over this way. Or maybe I should go up. I haven't gone up at all. I don't want to head into the old woods because I'm scared. <laughs> but I'll head up a little bit. Yeah, alright. Let's go up for the first time. Time has started. Time to be careful. This is a farm? Oh god, what could be in these... I want to say corn rows, they're obviously not corn though, but what could be in these rows of plants? It's a maze. Oh, something worth mentioning too. When I first... Uh, last episode when I first touched this like black stuff, the edge of the forest that you can't go past, I thought just touching it or getting near it hurt me, but I don't think that's it. I was watching the video back and I saw that I think I stepped over some mushrooms. So I'm pretty sure if I touch it, I'll be fine. Yeah. So it doesn't hurt just to touch it with some mushrooms I hit. Some gas. I'm really scared what could be hiding inside of here. Oh, these bodies blend in so much. This poor bastard probably died of starvation. So I can't... Yeah, I can't go through them at all. Uh, there could be something in the center, but... I'm not gonna dare go there and get lost. In a maze. Strange noises. Oh, some mushrooms right there. Um, trying to find a pathway. So it's right there. So I need to come from here, which means I need to come from here, from here, here. Oh, there's more mushrooms, too. Alright, I didn't think I'd be coming in here, but I guess I am. What's that noise? enough mushrooms for me. Should I head back? Nah. It'll stay good for a while. Oh, bear trap. Oh, fuck! Ah, oh, I keep doing that. Let's grab some spare parts. Alright, screw it. I'm so close to home, and I just hurt myself. I'm gonna go back, dump the mushrooms, and also drink from the well. Oh, right, I've also got the gas that I should dump. scrap metal. So I was just there. Let's go straight up this time. 
So I think it's these I keep hitting, right? Can I harvest them? I don't think so. Poisonous mushrooms. Yeah. So those are not harvestable. Seriously dense trees here. Burned house? Right here. And also whatever that is. Just looks like trees. Let's go to the house. I keep... <laughs> once again, I'm, it looks like it's getting dark, but it's... It's not. It's just that it's like super gray and drab around here. Around this house. Finding flares. I should use them at some point just to see how they work, how good they are. Huh? Out? What? The truck is here. Is this a vision or is this real? Two people. I think it's a vision. I don't think it's real. Oh crap, it's locked. Nah, I can't get around. Alright then. Spare parts. I'm trying to kind of run just because I know I don't have that much time. So it looks like there's some locations that mark where you are, but they don't have a specific name, just like grove of trees or rocks. So the kind of anchor points that just aren't aren't notable enough to have a name, but you can recognize them and get your place on the map. So it looks like, based on the map, there's like it goes a little bit further out here, northwest. Let's go up that way. Heard a dog. Sounds awfully close. Ah. Okay. Let's see if we can go around the back. for it. <laughs> oh, poor doggy. Oh, there's so many of them. Or is that the same one that's just wandering? I think it's the same one. I think there's just two. Okay. Let's throw some meat. 
quickly before it comes back. Oh no, there's there's more than just that one. Yeah, there's two. Okay. Okay. Could be good, they're going for it. Wire, battery. Come on, come on, come on. Fabric, fine fabric, yes. Okay, we're good. Guess I'll keep trying to go northwest. This area here looks pretty well secured. Or secured. <laughs> pretty well scouted, rather. Nothing is secured. So I guess either here on the extreme right is where I should go, or over here, kind of around the burned house. Well, I'm going to start to make my way down here. So I'm going to hit the house first, jump, dump off some stuff, and then go over here to the right. Go, 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 go. We're good. Oh, out of room. Anything I want to dump? Nails. Nine nails. That's worth a decent amount. I mean, not of money, but it's useful, certainly. I guess... Uh, I'll get rid of these stones. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. You're new? Haven't seen any savages around this area. Am I beneath my house? I think I'm beneath my house. I think I'm on this. Just took a pot shot at me, now it's running away. Alright, well, I don't want to mess with you either. Okay, scrap, battery. Rack, pills, wires. Fabric. Gas, flare. Nails. Let's go dump my mushroom. See if we can craft anything useful. Well, quite a few things. Oh, so you can keep making inventory upgrades. It's not just like you're limited to one. Okay, well, I still haven't exactly run out of useful space on my hotbar, so I'm definitely going to go with the inventory upgrade first. Oh, beautiful. More slots. Make another chain trap. I don't know if... The wires are used for anything other than the lockpick. I don't see anything else that uses them. So I guess I'm just going to make some more lockpicks. No reason to save them. Okay. Right, so we're here. I'll just go to the right. Let's go to the right and down. Southeast. Okay, there's the forest's edge. Can 
Can I like hit that bug? Oh, that's not a bug, that's a rabbit. I thought it was that bug that keeps running away from me. Either it's not the bug or it was never a bug in the first place. I guess it was never a bug. Odd meat. I'm guessing that rabbit wasn't normal. Certainly didn't try to attack me though, I'm sorry rabbit. Poor bastard probably died of starvation. Has anything been marked on the map here? No. Oh, one of those big ones. Do not want to mess with them. I wonder if they would go for meat. Let's not try. Let's just go past them. Assuming they don't immediately turn around. Mm -hmm. I think we're okay. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's getting kind of dark. Okay, um... Okay, I found some sort of a landmark. That's good. Let's head back. No, let's not be silly. Let's not push it. I'm gonna head back. Really didn't find much today, did I? So basically just straight up a little bit left. Oh, spare parts. Oh, this is the underground entrance. Yep, so straight up from here. Oh, that's the, the camp full of dogs. Oh, two dogs here. Generator. Do I have some gas on me? Not that I need it. No, I don't. I don't need it, but if I had it, I would have filled it up. Cookable rots over time. It's already rotted quite a bit, so I better try to cook it. See what it turns into. Thank god this meat doesn't go bad. Okay. Let's grab these chain traps. So, I know that this thing, you know, since I seem to push it open... I'm just gonna kind of like, not drag it out of the way, but just make it so that there's just one opening. Like that. There's like no doubt which side they're gonna come from, they're gonna come in right here. Since they seem to come in anyway, that guarantees pretty much that they're gonna come in that specific spot, so we can put a trap there. Don't think we can miss them. Trap there, trap there, trap there. there, that's barricaded. I mean, they're all barricaded, so I guess they maybe don't need traps. Alright, I'll leave it at that. Given where they seem to come from, I think I'll just hang out here. Put my 
Molotov cocktail here. Oh, right, we're gonna cook this meat. Can't cook during the night, okay. Now we wait. Oh! Something just knocked it. Not knocked, bashed at one of the barricades, I think. Something is lurking in the shadows. I should stay close to the light. Oh, God. So if the generator ran out of fuel right now... Um... Yeah. I'm gonna put my flashlight on my hotbar just in case. Feeling it's trying to peek in through the windows, poking and prodding at my defenses. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, the chain doesn't do much for those, since they just throw rocks. Oh, you know what? The fact that the stones hurt me when they throw them means I could probably use them to hurt other things by throwing them. <laughs> no. I didn't get it on the ground before the end of the day. Oh no, I did. The traitor, once again. Seems like they're the only one who's gonna visit me here. Um, well, in the past I've ended the episode after one day, but I feel like I didn't accomplish that much today. So I'm gonna go on and do one more day. All right, we need to cook this meat. Do I really want to try to use stones as a weapon, though? I doubt it'd be very effective. I don't think so. Let's go ahead and cook it. Oh, I can extract 12 essence from this. You can get some essence from meat. Interesting. So I guess it means that if the very meat itself has essence, essence of what, I'm not sure, but essence of some sort of DNA ability changing thing means that even the wildlife has definitely changed and has it in their very meat. Doesn't look like their inventory's changed at all. So I suppose there's nothing to buy. I don't think I have anything in particular to sell, either. Just more general stuff, rags and whatnot. Well, I guess I could sell some pills. Yeah, I'll keep them. I don't know, maybe they're used to craft something if I upgrade my workshop or something. Speaking of, do they sell the toolkit that I need to upgrade in my workshop? I don't see it. I think it was the fox that sold it. Oh, I can actually buy a mushroom. Let's 
Oh, I suppose that'd be a good thing. All right, let me go sell those pills, actually. Anything else? I think I'll keep the other board on me. Since my first one's kind of damaged. Sell that, grab the mushroom, hurt my reputation a little bit, but not too much. Need four more mushrooms. Let's grab some gas, go fill up the generator. And then head out. this all pretty thoroughly. Let's head to around the burned house and try these areas around it. Go down. What's that? Oh. I wonder if you could maybe throw a stone at them or something to kill them. Not that I particularly want to kill something that isn't trying to kill me. Uh, this is getting back to the shrine, so let's go left. Oh, another one of these. Wonder if there's more mushrooms in the fields? Location found, wedding. Wedding? Does that term mean something other than what I... Thought? What's this? It's like a trail of flowers? First thought these were stones, but I think they might actually be like these kind of mushrooms, these poisonous mushrooms, but just more spread out and I guess not quite poisonous yet. Okay, let's follow this ominous trail. What is this going to lead me to? Piece of farm equipment. Oh, it's a house over there. The farmhouse, I guess. dog somewhere. Anything I can search on this? Nope. I 
almost like see letters in this. This looks like an M. Why am I going into this? Screw this. It's right at the edge of the forest and it's creepy dark. Did I just see the dog? Oh, there. Oh. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There was a blood pool already there. I wonder if the wildlife tries to attack me, not necessarily because it's become more aggressive, but because because I've changed, because of the essence and all that, and my body's changing, perhaps they can kind of smell the corruption on me, and they see me as a threat. I don't know. Either way, they try to attack me. Can't do much about it. Some text up there. Can't really read it, though. This place has a disturbing vibe to it. Let's get the flashlight out. Is that a candle? Somebody live here? I mean, there's all these colored wires up here, too. I don't know what that's for. This isn't a safe house, is it? No, I can't seem to cook or anything on it. Oh, there's a lot of lights here. Search the well. An old wagon decorated with colorful ribbons and flowers made of white tissue paper. Oh. Oh, I hear banging. Something wants out. Oh, fuck. I hate this. flowers lead in there. I'm guessing things... Whoa, what was that? I'm guessing things went south around the time of the wedding celebration. I see chairs. Yeah, it looks like they were celebrating. Plants and candles. Can't imagine the candles are still going from the wedding, though. Surely it's been a while. Oh, my flashlight's almost out. Shit. Ah, I should have brought a spare battery. Can I... Do I have the stuff to craft a torch? No. <laughs> there. Lasted another second. That's... That's it. All the light I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna contemplate this for a sec. Are all the wedding guests inside? Am I gonna let out a dozen wedding guests? I do have a Molotov. I don't think that'd be enough for all of them. Here we go. Oh. Hmm. That's kind of a relief, actually. Where would I find the password? Is there something I've missed around here? A body, perhaps. Can't I can't examine the tables or anything.
I have like no concept of if it's late or not. Well, the password's here. It doesn't seem to be right here, so let's go back to the house. It's not like the text written above here was the password. I don't think so. Didn't look like numbers, whatever it was. I can kind of go under here, but I can't see what's down there. It's still daytime, thank god. There could be perhaps a body in the field or something. I should check the field. Let's check the field. I really want to get in there, and I also don't want to get in there, but I'm curious. Nothing in the field. I wonder where I get the password from. I guess I'll go down here a little bit, just in case. I think the floor is kind of glitching out here. I guess I've got to get it from somewhere else. Oh, I gotta go back the way I came. Still daylight. It's so ominous that it's just called wedding. I don't want to go to the silent forest. Let's avoid the field of poison. Yeah, so that's another rabbit. <laughs> I thought it was like a giant beetle. Oh. I mean, I've got to search it. It could be from the wedding, I suppose. Okay, three of them eating the body. I've got some meat, right? One meat. Are they going to go for meat, though? Because they're already eating meat. Go around this side and toss it.
No, they're not going to go for it. Uh, this might be a good time for a Molotov? I'm about to burn a bunch of puppies. I can't take three on at a time, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, puppies. Small caliber magazine, alcohol, and wire. Well, nothing too amazing, but I suppose a small caliber magazine's pretty good. Oh, cool, I can pick the meat back up. If they don't eat it, you can pick it up. Feels like this day's gone on forever. You know, I kind of get the feeling that the day length maybe is not set in stone. I could be wrong. It could just be if I get into something scary or interesting, time just seems to fly faster or slower for me. But I get the feeling that maybe it isn't exactly set in stone and perhaps with certain events or getting into altercations or something like that, it makes sure that you have enough time to kind of do more stuff. Possibly. Like maybe if you haven't collected anything or you haven't... I don't know. There's all sorts of ways they could do it. If time isn't exact. Ooh, wood. Stone, logs, nails. Oh, tons of wood. Looks like it's starting to get a little bit dark. I'm gonna start to head back. Okay, I think we've... It seems like we've fully explored everything that's here before heading to the Silent Forest. Whoa. Oh. Oh, right. Wolf is here as well. I never actually tried going here. Well, I'm assuming time stops when we're talking. Yes, meat. Oh, let's show them... I can't show them the dress. Gossip? Nothing new. Alright. Yes, it's them that have the toolbox that I can use to upgrade the workbench. It's actually not all that expensive, either. Still, though, I don't have enough stuff to sell to even buy it. And my reputation with them is not very good. Seems like they're the only one that sells tape. I don't think the trader sells tape. Maybe I should buy some tape? Trade for the small caliper magazine? Maybe? Nah. I wonder what the chain would be used for. Alright, I'm just gonna go.
I'm gonna go ahead and dump all the logs in the sawmill. I'm not gonna saw them up right now. But I don't think they're useful for anything else. See, I placed down the chain where that one monster came in, so I don't need to do anything with that. Just dumb my nails and stones and stuff. Meat only stacks to three. Well, I'll dump it all for now. Oh, I'll keep the three on me. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Oh, right. It's got the flashlight on me. Let's reload its battery. I'm just going to keep both batteries on me. Now that I've got more inventory space. So how do I make a Molotov? What am I missing? Oh, I need to upgrade my workshop to craft it. That's what I'm missing. Because that Molotov was very good. I'd love to craft more. And I have the stuff to craft two more, actually. And also that lantern. Yep, so that's chained up. Let's reload this. And we wait. Ghosts are coming out again. They're gonna need to be near the light. something. Sounded like it was inside. This one lasts.
Alright, well, on that note, I think I'll end this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to begin day 7, where we are going to head to the Silent Forest.